Flowy Fuse trees are still one of the most difficult resources to come across in Palia, if not the most difficult one, as they have an extremely small respawn rate. And even worse, this can only happen when people actually chop down trees in the first place. While I had quite some luck in the past server hopping, there's actually a much better way to target farm Flowy Fuse wood. So hey, what's up guys? It's your man 4 again back with a new Palia guide in which I'm going to show you the hands down best method to target farm flow if used trees. So let's get right to it. I quickly want to say a huge thanks to you, to every single one of you guys for being part of this amazing community we're building with Palia content. I'm having a blast with the game and every time when I upload I get amazing feedback so much appreciated once again. Liking the video and sharing your thoughts in the comments helps out the channel big time. If you want to help even more you can always become a member to support my channel as well as the live streams. A quick shout out to Zetetsu, thanks for providing me with the information which basically made this video possible. I did a lot more research, but your idea is why this video came to life. Be sure to check out their channel, which I've linked in the description. All right, so what we're going to do is travel to the northern part of Bahari Bay, to this specific rock right here, which is located right in between the Thorny Thicket and the Proudhorn Pass. So um, if we quickly take out our camera, you can see that this is an amazing place to see all the different wind directions. So in the distance, you can already see flow trees popping up if they respawn, while this is not what we're going to focus on with the farm. Instead, what you want to do is look at the the map layout. So around this rock we have a pretty nice road in a circle. We also have the river right here. What you want to do is chop down the trees in this area. So more or less in between the river and the northern part, a little bit to the east right here, around the road and also around this place with of course the ruins. Every time when you chop down a tree after a certain point it will respawn in the same area. There is a small chance that this respawn tree will come back as a flow if used tree. According to the research of multiple people I talked with and from my own experience, I can say that it's about 5 to 10% chance that a flow tree will pop up. It might sound low, but trust me, if you have a party with two, three dedicated people constantly chopping down the trees in the area, it will actually happen a lot sooner than you think. And simply put, this is hands down the best way to target farm flow infused trees. It makes you over 50 flow infused wood every half an hour. It's gonna take a little bit of time to explain people how the target farming exactly works, but once they know what their job is, well, it's gonna be super efficient. So I'm currently standing in the very center of the map. What you wanna do is divide the area into three or maybe even more places you can chop down trees. This farm will work just fine with two people, while I recommend you to have three. More than three people is definitely possible, while it's gonna make this farm less efficient, as people aren't working to their full potential because the tree spawns are simply not as fast as chopping down trees with this amount of people. What I think works very well is that you put one person in this area, in the southwestern part, while the other one is going to focus on the southeastern part and one person focuses on chopping down trees in the northern part where you have the river. You will always come together every now and then on the rock itself where you can find more trees, so chop those down together. But this is an amazing place where you can easily just use your glider to fly from one place to the next. So if you're doing it with more or less people, you can divide accordingly. So you just keep chopping down every single tree you come across. Small ones, big ones, it doesn't matter. Until, of course, you see a flow tree and then you're going to call it in for your teammates. When it happens, hit the tree once so you can secure your loot if somebody else happens to chop it down. But usually people are just going to be patient, wait for more people to pop up, chop down the flow tree together and continue farming. Sometimes it feels like you have bad luck and only regular trees spawn. No flow trees, while well, in this case you just want to be patient as it's a matter of luck and statistics. I also had moments where a lot of flow trees pop up, so just take your time. On average you're gonna have about 50 flow locks every 30 minutes. Now you're probably wondering, what do I do with all the excess loot? I mean, you're here for the flow trees, but you're constantly chopping down the regular ones. Well, in this case, the decision is easily made. You either go back to your base, sell all the wood, or you just discard it at the spot, which I totally recommend you to do 
What's also possible is to return to your base if you see your exquisite axe is about to break down. Then throw all the locks into your shipping bin so you can sell them for a little bit of extra gold. Be sure to always have some food in your tummy to boost your focus, basically level up your skills a little bit faster and also keep checking your surroundings for some special loot. Because in this area you can also come across a lot of briar daisies, especially on top of the hill Bright shrooms, which we can find plenty in this runes to the west of the hill, as well as heat roots, which usually grow on this cliffside right here. All right, so there you have it. Everything you need to know to target farm flow if used trees, get the wood as quick as possible. Once again, I recommend you to join our community discord so it's going to be easier to group up with people whenever you want to. But that is it for today. Ladies and gentlemen, a big thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful. And yeah, if you have more questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments down below as well. I already have plenty of Palia content on the channel while there is a lot more coming your way so be sure to subscribe if you want to stay in the loop with all future videos if you want to support the channel a little bit extra you can always become a member already very much appreciate it right now though it's 4am out i want to wish you an amazing day i'll see you in the next one peace